Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Beyond the Mask. Today we're discussing the latest news that Miramax has won the licensing war for the Halloween rights to make a TV series and what we can expect to happen next. So if you're unaware, a Halloween sequel slash reboot slash TV show is likely on its way once again as a bidding war for the rights to Halloween was in place. So with many studios attempting to acquire these rights, everyone was up in the air about who would actually get them. You know, Paramount was thrown into the mix, for example, A24 and so on. But now it's been confirmed that Miramax have officially won the rights to make a TV series and new movies are extremely likely. So likely it's believed that Melik Akkad is set to announce something very soon. And by something, it could be a new movie, new series, or any future plans basically. Whatever the future has in store for Halloween, we're going to be getting an announcement soon. They've discussed the decision to create a cinematic universe from this series. Now, what this could mean is that there'll be an anthology of different slasher villains showing up in their own unique stories. Cinematic universe means these characters will all exist within the same universe as the original Halloween story, which makes the whole thing quite interesting. I mean, it's going to be fascinating seeing how they expand on these stories outside of the Michael Myers story, if that's the angle they're going with. But here is my biggest issue with this decision. Number one, Halloween ended last year. Regardless of how people felt about those movies, I did enjoy them quite a bit and I just don't think a new movie is necessarily needed at this point. The franchise is still very fresh in people's minds and it's only been a year exactly since Ends came out. I also think that rumours regarding what Miramax have planned aren't amazing. It just feels so soon, you know, after Halloween ended last year. I think if this was Elm Street or Friday the 13th, I'd be more excited. But it's an IP that has only recently been used and been successful at the box office, I may add. It all depends what this cinematic universe adds to the movies. I'm just in this phase where right now, I know some people didn't like the Blumhouse movies, but I think it has to be agreed that 2018 and kills to an extent were very much a love letter to the original film, bringing back the original actors, even down to Michael Myers being the same actor who wore the mask back in 1978. They really did call back and pay tribute to that movie and the legacy of the franchise quite well. Now, like I said, I know some didn't like them and that is fine, but if they're going to create this cinematic universe, I think it's better if they steer clear of the Michael Myers story and focus on something fresh and new. That's my personal take from a new show. But what are you expecting? What would make you excited for the Halloween franchise's return once again? I want to hear all your thoughts and opinions below. Remember though, this is a TV show. They've promised a cinematic universe which could lead into a movie, but right now it's just a TV show. They're making a TV series. I just want to make that absolutely clear. If you are unaware, I'm currently working on a novelization that will continue the Lakewood story that was set up in MTV Scream. The book will serve as a continuation to the story where it left off in season 2, and has also been okayed by the showrunners of the show, and will have the official Paramount title attached to it. If you would like early access to the novel, then you can join my Patreon below, where I will be releasing chapters every month over there, so you guys can see how everything goes down before it hits Kindle next year. The link to Patreon is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching guys, don't forget to like and share and be sure to subscribe as I will be keeping you updated on anything that drops about the future of Halloween and I will see you guys in the next video.